Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this look right here. This was done using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Anastasia. However you guys say that name, it's too fancy a name for me to say. I wore this look in a haul a while back. I actually got some questions about the eyeshadow in that video so I wanted to go ahead and recreate it for you guys today. I really hope that you enjoy this one and make sure you subscribe before you leave. It really means the world to me and I think you guys are everyone just so awesome. But that's all for now so let's jump right on into it shall we? Now I don't know about you guys but I cannot really do my eyeshadow or I don't feel like I can do my eyeshadow until I have my brows on so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. And to do that, again, I don't have any new brow products, but I'm going to use the Alme Brow Defining Pencil. This one is just the brown shade, and I really need to get a new one. I say that, I think, in every video. So the question is, will she ever get a new one like that? That is the question of the day. Okay, now for eyeshadow, we're going to be using the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia or Anastasia, however you want to say that name. So, I'm going to start out by taking the shade Tempera. No. I'm going to take the shade Golden Ochre and I'm going to apply that all in the crease. This is going to be our transition color. And I'm going to pull back quite far on my brush as I get towards the top so that it just kind of fades into nothing. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my phone, but I have started selling Unique Makeup. I'll make sure to leave that link below, just in case you want to buy some makeup from me. Alright, then I'm going to take a mixture of Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. I'm just going to tap into both of them with that same brush and put it into the crease as well but keep it just a little bit lower okay now I'm gonna take the shade love letter right here and I'm going to put that into the crease as well and I'm using it on this shade and blend brush again I'm keeping it lower than the other shade it's just gonna melt into the last few shades that we've applied I'm going to pick up a clean blending brush and just go all around these edges to make sure that it's all blended out. Then I'm going to take the shade Red Ochre, pop that right into the crease on the outer edge. I'm also going to take the shade Tempera and I'm going to put that right onto the brow bone. Okay, then for the lid, I'm going to take the shade Vermeer and I'm going to take a flat shader brush. But I'm just going to take this and run it right onto my eyelid. And also the inner corner as well. I'm going to take a little bit of Love Letter and smoke out the lash line. And that's it for shadow. So now I'm going to line my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use the Tardis Clay Paint Liner. I actually jacked up my inner corner highlight a little bit. So I'm going to take a little bit more of Vermeer and place it right back in those inner corners. There we go. Now we're awake again. For lips, I don't honestly remember what I was wearing that day. So I'm going to go with this one by Tristique. This was probably it, but I'm not 100% on that. I actually am pretty certain that this is what I was wearing. Pretty sure. Highlight the rest of my face. I'm going to use this highlighter by Profusion. It's one of my most affordable highlighters that I own, yet I believe it is absolutely the most powerful one that I own as well. The last step is going to be blush, and I'm going to use Wet n Wild's Mellow Wine. It just looks like this plummy shade, I guess you would call it. I don't really know. I've never been good at describing stuff like that. I'm just going to take that on a big old brush and apply it on the cheeks. How funny is it that I'm not wearing a orange blush? Like that's just unheard of. And then can you believe I almost forgot my absolute favorite thing ever? 
I almost forgot mascara. All right, guys, and this is the finished look. I really hope you guys love this one. Um, I know it was a little bit chatty, but I feel like I haven't sat down in forever and just talked to you guys while I did my makeup. So it just all kind of came out. But um, I really am digging the colors in the Modern Renaissance palette. There are some shades that aren't my favorite, but that'll be the case with pretty much any palette that you buy, I guess. So... Let me know what you think of this one and any other videos that you would like to see. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and always be you. I'll catch you in the next one.